Okay, hey, so first thing I'm going to do is get in here and give this a wire wheel and uh, see what I'm actually left with. And we're also going to get rid of this back bumper. And we're going to get rid of the front bumper too. <laughs> It. I went down to the dump, got some old steel, um, enough to fix these up. Uh, it'll be a little bit different. I'm going to try to raise it a little bit, see how that works out. But once again, just doing it cheap, right? So use what you got. <laughs> this part I'm going to take some old uh, tent poles that I've accumulated over the years. These are way thicker steel than this and uh, I'm just going to weld them together I guess and uh, clean it up and then I'll put that across the bottom here. Kind of like a you know a rock guard or a rock fighter but this thing is just for mild trail, so it's, we're not going to get right into rock sliders or anything like that. This is going to be stronger than it was when we stopped, and uh, give me some clearance on the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to put this up here for now, and I just really need to see where about, I'll leave a little bit of overhang, but where about I'm going to need to a line because I'm going to fold this over a little bit kind of like what we did with the dovetail um, on the buggy on my other video so I'm going to put a, a little slip here and then come out on this angle so that it's um, more with the lines of the vehicle So now we're gonna. This is the piece that I got from the dump there, and uh, we'll cut it up into strips. And it's heavier steel than what I started out with, or what was there before. So it's gotta be stronger, right? You know. 
first I'm gonna take care of some of these parts um, cut them so that they fit that tin a little bit better make our lines and uh, then we'll start cutting it out. this up into place, trying to get it where it wants to go, make sure the back is right there and in where it needs to go, and I'm just going to hold that there, and give it the old tacaroonie. Okay, now that we got it uh, back into place, you can just shave off anything that's unwanted. Uh, I'd like to keep this nice down here. Okay, now we just take the other side of this and we're going to use it for this side. So we're just going to do the same thing that we did before, but just with the other side. And we're only going to go the distance. I don't want to overlap, so that would be cut to there. Okay, I uh, came up with this. Uh, I ended up having to cut a little slab, push it over. I'll pack that all together. Now we got our piece all welded up and everything. Uh, we can put our piece on, making sure everything is pulled tight before you weld. Well, there you have it. Uh, homemade rocker panel. So that's what it looks like when it's all done. Um, I haven't done the bodywork yet. I'm going to save that for when I'm doing those rear quarter panels. Uh, that'll probably be next. Uh, if you notice in the front door to front fender, there's uh, quite the gap there. I'm going to have to uh, make it fit a lot better. Uh, still got the spare on, got to fix that. But as for the rocker panel itself, uh, I gained about two inches of clearance. Um, it's a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. And uh, I cut anywhere from two inches to one inch out of the wheel wells. Um, somewhere in there, I pretty much followed what, it, like in the rear, I followed what it gave me um, for an inner uh, wheel well and uh, stayed about a quarter inch away from it. And that gave me that. And then I uh, cut about two inches off the bottom of the front. The rear bottom and then made my way into one inch and uh, eh, gave me a little bit more than what was there uh, definitely kind of looks better but that's it for today uh, if you guys did get anything out of this and uh, you like what you saw give a share and a like and a subscribe and uh, there'll be a lot more of these coming out to you, Agreed, you guys.